It's the end of April, which means it's time for my recap, review, and wrap up. And this month I read nine books. The four that were on my TBR followed the theme of sequels, so let's get started with that. The physical book on my TBR was The Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan. This is the fourth book in the Percy Jackson series, and it was just as good as all of the other ones. I've already reviewed this book, so if you want to check out that review, there will be a link below. <laughs> For my Nook book, we had The Great Convergence by Joseph Lalo. This is the second book in the Book of Deacon series, and the only book on my TBR that hasn't actually been reviewed this month. So, let's review that right now. The Great Convergence has many of the same characters that you meet in the Book of Deacon. Miranda, Min, Lane, Deacon, Desmaris, Trigor, as well as some new characters, you meet another, you meet two other Chosens, you meet several of the generals who are waging the perpetual war that needs to be stopped, and you meet fate. Yeah. The plot of The Great Convergence is that the Great Convergence is when all of the Chosens are united, at that point the Chosens can no longer be changed and the perpetual war will either end or it will be perpetual. So basically the Great Convergence is just the Chosens meeting up with each other and having said that it isn't a boring book. There are several fight scenes are some pretty intense things going on in the book. The main problem I had with this book is the fact that there aren't chapters. Everything is separated out by hashtags, and the hashtags only are there to indicate dramatic shifts in location or time. And so you can go a hundred pages without there being a hashtag, and you're just like... <gasps> And the thing and the thing about it is you don't even notice that there aren't hashtags until you need to stop. And then you're like, where was the last hashtag? Where's the next one? All in all, this was a really good book and I want to read the third one, but there's no way I'm diving straight into another 800 page book. So it'll be a couple months before I'm ready to do that 800 page no chapter book again. But still, I highly recommend The Book of Deacon. At least give The Book of Deacon a try. Um, when I picked up the book, it was free on my Nook, and it was also free on Kindle, so it might still be. My non-YA pick of the month was Judgment by Will McDermott. This is the final book in the Odyssey cycle of the Magic the Gathering series. And I reviewed the entire series, and there will be a link to this below. And this was just as good as The Battle of the Labyrinth and The Great Convergence. And for the final book on my TBR this month, we have Specials by Scott Westerfield. And this was actually the biggest disappointment of the month. It was just okay. I really enjoyed Uglies and I really enjoyed Pretties and this was just kind of like... I, I was expecting something more from it, I guess. Now we get on to the books this month that weren't on my TBR. If you don't know, I read four books that follow a theme, and then the rest of the month I can read whatever I want. And this really just is to prevent me from going into a reading slump. The first book that I read I don't have anymore because I checked it out from the library, but that was Green Witch by Alice Hoffman. It is the sequel to Green Angel, and like I said in that review, I don't think Green Angel was a book that needed a sequel, but apparently a lot of people did, so Alice Hoffman wrote a sequel to it, and having said that, it was actually a really good sequel. Um, <coughs> I did a review for that, and there will be a link below, and in that same video I reviewed the next book, which was The Host by Stephanie Meyer. Um, so, like I said in the review of this, I only picked this book up because Books and Quills and Little Book Owl both said that everyone should give this book a try, and <clears throat> I really ha and I really like the book. I <clears throat> and I tend to really like the books that Little Book Owl likes, and I trust Books and Quills' opinions about books, so. 
I gave it a try and I actually really enjoyed this book. Um, it was enough to make me consider giving Stephanie Meyer another try if she produces another book that isn't related to the Twilight series. The next book that I finished was Delirium by Lauren Oliver. I don't have that book anymore because it was also a library book, but I do have Pandemonium, so this is the series. This is the second book in the series, but I read the first book, <coughs> and <coughs> I also reviewed that, so there will be a link below for that video as well. But what I have to say about Delirium is that I felt like it was an interesting plot with characters that were just meant to tell the story, they weren't the story. So I'm basically continuing the series because the series was interesting, not because I have any particular investment in the characters. There are two more books that I have finished that aren't on my... that aren't... Ar <clears throat> that I don't already have reviews on, so... The first book is The Dark Moon Diary, Volume 1. This is a manga by Chi Gilson, art by Brett Uher. Uher. Um, <clears throat> basically, I went on to my library, uh, the library, I basically went on to my local library's website and was looking for Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver, and it's like, hey, did you mean this book? I'm like, no. Um, because apparently in the description of this book they use the word pandemonium, and that's why it came in first, as opposed to a book actually titled Pandemonium. Um, but apparently there are also, there's two more volumes to this, except I can't find them anywhere. I don't know where they are. This was actually a really interesting book, or manga. I would have just appreciated, like, you know, knowing in advance that I couldn't find, I wouldn't be able to find volume two or three of this. Basically, the girl with pink hair, Priscilla, has to move in with her aunt, uncle, and cousin after her parents die. Her parents die on page one. <clears throat> and they're vampires. She's a human. And they don't know she isn't a human. Well, her cousin might. She keeps calling her an entree. But this would be, this is like the, a great start to what could be a hilarious series or an extremely serious series. Like, they could take this in two different directions. But, um, like I said, there are two alleged volumes to this that don't actually seem to exist. At least I can't find them, so if anyone has heard of where I can find volume two or three, let me know, because I kind of want to read this. I finished this month was The Money Book for the Young, Fabulous, and Broke by Susie Orman. And all I have to say about this book, because it is a nonfiction self-help book, is that this book feels like it's written more for someone who's like 25 to 35. And as someone who's 22, I don't have a lot of the issues that they're talking about. So not the book. And until tomorrow. TTYL.